At the beginning of the year 2016, I was a hopeless man. By then, I had tried and failed in several things. I had lost businesses, relationships, and resigned a job. It was a very low period in my life. However, one year after this period, I became a new person with a new and better financial status thanks to how I managed those low points. Oftentimes, what happens to us doesn't determine our results. Instead, it is how we react to what happens to us that does. We are experiencing a terrible period all over the world now due to the global pandemic. While similar things are happening to millions of people, how we react to this situation should be different. Especially what we do with our time behind the doors during this lockdown. So let me advise you on the three things you should do during this period to make you a better and richer person a few years after. If you're an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we specially invite you to join our motivational channel which was designed to give you daily inspiration so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. 1. Spend time to know yourself. When I was around age 16 to 17, I heard it repeatedly from different quarters that every human is different. Then, I started reasoning that if everyone is different, then what makes us happy should be different. More importantly, our careers shouldn't be chosen because of money or pressure from other people. Also, who we marry, what we do and don't, how we make decisions and who our friends are. You get my point. Everything about life should be influenced by the deep understanding of who you are. Unfortunately, 99% of the people in the world have no clue about who they are. Because people don't know who they are, they make wrong decisions which eventually lead to the results they never wished for in their lives and then they become unhappy. One of the biggest investments you can make at a time like this is to discover who you are. But how exactly can you do that? Here is the simple tip. Spend a lot of time to recollect the happenings in your early childhood. Just sit down and recollect your early life. If you have a poor memory like mine, this is not an exercise you can do in a single day. You might have to spend an hour a day for as many days as possible just thinking about your early life and passion. This is important because who we are is always very obvious while growing up. What happens is that, the older we grow and listen to people, the society, and what the media says, the more we lose our real identities until we get to a point when we've lost ourselves. I guess that's why Benjamin Franklin said, that some people die at 25 but aren't buried until 75. Tracing your childhood interests and passion will show you who you were before the disconnection from your passion and how your identity was killed by the society. What is funny about who you are is that you don't choose who you are. Instead, who you are chose you. Let me explain this with a personal story. I spent the first decade of my life in a Nigerian village. I can't remember reading any book, nor did I even know what being an author means. When I was moved to a town at age 11, it was still a small town. My father had only a black and white TV which was too terrible to watch, so I watched a little of TV. There was probably no way anyone would have influenced me to become a writer. Yet, at the age of 14, I would leave my father's house and go to a lonely place to write. I didn't know what I was doing, all I knew was that I loved stringing words together. Again, when it comes to entrepreneurship, I never read a single book about entrepreneurship as at the time I started my first business at the age of 15. Building and selling things was so natural to me that I couldn't find myself doing any other thing with my life aside from being an entrepreneur. Your passion is probably what you cannot explain how you got, even if you have a passion. But oftentimes, before you're 25, the world must have knocked the passion out of you so you will spend the rest of your life running after happiness which can only come when you discover yourself. Socrates said, know thyself it's the best advice you can be giving and now that we are all indoors it is the best time to discover who you are two study the world for you to become successful in life you must understand human beings and their nature because if you don't have a deep understanding about human nature you really cannot cope with them or get what you want from them guess what the best time to study humans is when they are going through hell problem conflicts and troubles are by far the best instruments to measure humans now that the world is in crisis, one of the things I do is to pay attention to how people react all over the world to the present crisis. This gives me an in-depth insight into who humans are. Take for instance, in my country, the government announced that people should stay indoors, but some people are still going to churches while others are having parties. Are these people crazy? No, they are not. They are just not rational, just like most of us. Irrationality is when you think going to church is more important than saving your life. Irrationality is when you need corpse to force you to do what you should do. 
knowing how irrational humans are is a great asset in handling them. Another thing I've observed in recent times is about how we humans do not take things seriously until it becomes severe. Countries of the world wait and wait until their nations are in crisis before they could do something drastic. This shows you that if you want to get people to do something, you will sometimes have to show them that you can hurt them if they don't do it. If you run a company, you should understand what I'm talking about here. 3. Read those books you've been wanting to read. I know that the easiest thing to do at this time is to watch videos, especially entertaining ones. The problem with watching entertainment is that entertainment hardly improves our lives in any way. While you need news and a little entertainment, learning and acquiring new skills at a critical time like this could be the best thing to do. As at the time I'm writing the script for this video, I have Steve Jobs biography staring at me on my table. I have read about 340 pages of it and I have to finish it in a few days. I have other biographies, history and other books I have to read and I should read more of them this time. You don't know how much the information in those books you've been wanting to read could change your life. So spend more time to read now. Since this is a unique time, a time of crisis, a time of tears and a time of silence, we can only do ourselves a great favor by spending our time now to prepare for whatever may come when we get out of this tunnel. Spend time to know who you are. Spend time to study the world at large. Spend time to read. And just before you watch other videos on YouTube, if you're an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we invite you to join our motivational channel. The objective of the channel is to give you daily inspiration so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. We love you.